Consulate General of Jamaica's reception for the Movement Dance Company. Movement Dance Company of Jamaica at the Milton G. Bassin Performing Arts Center at York College in Queens. We conclude our trip to Jamaica with the part two of the IT and Fancy Cat interview. The African interview pan come chat with me. Yeah, I mean, I worry if never fly up and I'm just fly up. And we hit the streets of Jamaica for Street Buzz New York. Jamaica is a nice place to live. Mm. We have everything, the sunshine, the rivers, and the good Ray and Navy rum to drink All here. Right, You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine, and I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. Trudy Deans created history by becoming the youngest female appointed council general to the Consulate General of Jamaica, New York. We chat with Trudy at the Consulate's reception for the Movement's Dance Company. The Consulate General of Jamaica held a reception on the eve of the Movement's Dance Company of Jamaica's performance, celebrating Jamaica at home and abroad as a continued celebration of Jamaica's 55th anniversary of the independence of Jamaica. Wherever I go, whenever they make me mad, me talk. Everybody has come and they say they're bilingual. Yeah. And, and so am I. Yeah. Today I was going through my uh, my Twitter feed and I saw that there was a Nigerian bobsled team. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I said, if it weren't for the inspiration of the Jamaican bobsled team, on the continent probably would not have ventured out uh, to offer themselves in the Olympics. So, big up Jamaica every time. To our leaders, great defender, grant truism from above, justice, truth, be us so pleased to host the reception for the technical team and dancers and the artistic director, everybody for Movement's Dance Company and as you said it's in continuation of our Jamaica 55 activities under the theme celebrating Jamaicans at home and abroad. The mission of the consulate here in New York is to safeguard the interests of Jamaican nationals here in New York and to provide consular services such as passport, visas, citizenships, as well as uh, we go to prisons, we have town hall meetings, and um, a host of different functions, a host of other activities. We are responsible for 33 states, Bermuda and Puerto Rico. I believe 2018 marks the 37th season for the Movement's Dance Company of Jamaica. What would you say is their greatest contribution to the world of dance and to Jamaica? First, let me say it's such an honor to have Movement here with us, um, continuing our um, Jamaica 55 activities under the theme celebrating Jamaicans at home and abroad. The question speaks to Movement's supporting brand Jamaica. Wherever they go in the world, it's about brand Jamaica. And I think wherever we are as a people, we're known for our culture, our rich culture and movement as one of, one of Jamaica's most renowned um, dance companies continue to do so for us. As you know, contemporary dance is very interpretive in its choreography, oftentimes focusing on emotions, costuming, and storytelling. In watching the Movements Dance Company of Jamaica perform, are you able to visualize their elements in their creative statement that tells a story unique to Jamaica? Being a student of music myself, and whatever it is, music, drama, dance, it you can't help yourself but to have some form of emotion and I think movement does that very well depicting every aspect of Jamaica's culture 
and I can't wait to see this show. I'm sure it will be awesome. It's been a while since we've had movements in this um, part of the US. So I'm so happy they're here and looking forward to a fantastic show. Renowned as one of Jamaica's leading champions of dance theater, Movements Dance Company of Jamaica is headed by co-founder and artistic director Monica Campbell McFarlane. Movements is known for its exquisite blend of modern, contemporary, in a style that is distinctly Jamaican. Tell us a little about your position as artistic director of the Movements Dance Company and what it involves. Involves. Okay. I guess the most succinct way of describing it is almost head cook and bottle washer. Okay. Um, I was one of the co-founders of the company and um, I'm artistic director. I run an advertising agency so I have been responsible for a lot of the, the thinking and the positioning of the company over the years. Nice. As well as being one of the, the chief choreographer, you know. So it's a lot. That's why I say head cook and bottle washer probably describes it best. Best. Give us a little background and how the Movements Dance Company of Jamaica started. The company started because four dancers thought that Jamaica needed more dance companies. Okay. At the time there was only one and we felt that there was not only room for another company but there was room for more dance, okay. you know, to accommodate a number of artists who were involved in the art form but could not be absorbed. And we formed the company and tried to shape it in a way that it would find its own niche in the Jamaican expression of modern contemporary dance and okay. also um, be a window to a lot of the, the cultural expression of the, company, the, the country as well. So it's a company that utilizes all the influences in the culture. Nice. Um, expressing it in the framework of modern contemporary dance. After a long break from international dance scene, Movements Dance Company is resuming. What brought about the company's desire to tour internationally? I think that um, we have made such a statement on home soil. We felt that it was time that what we have developed over the past three decades needed to be shared with the rest of the world. So we took a conscious decision at the 35th anniversary to share what we have developed with the world. We think that we have found not only a niche, but we have developed a way of moving in modern contemporary dance that has something to say and to share with others. Is it required that all dancers be Jamaican nationals? No, not necessarily. Um, most of our dancers are Jamaican, but from time to time we have had uh, persons from other countries, from Cuba, from the United States, because we, um, we pursue an international um, footing for the company. Each year we have um, choreographers that come from different countries and they input into the repertoire. This allows us to really um, experience the work of other um, companies and choreographers and it allows them a chance to also work with us you know nice. and it has worked very well because um, we have had some really groundbreaking stuff you know from some very talented artists who have remarked that um, working with the company has really been a blessing to them so and we will keep that up. Oh you choose a dancer. Yeah okay. well just like any other company um, you, you have an audition and you look to see if the but if the ability and the potential is consistent with the ethos of the company. And uh, you work from there, you know, we have taken people who we have started from scratch, yeah. you know, and they have blossomed into beautiful artists, yeah. you know, and while it is good to be able to get um, people who are very accomplished, sometimes you can't get them, so you have to be able to take a diamond in the rough right. and really fashion it and you know we have had some wonderful artists that have come out of that experience. What can we expect from tonight's performance? Well, 
You can expect all of what I just said. Okay. You can expect a company that is distinctly Jamaican, yes. a company that operates in the framework of modern contemporary dance, a company that has done a lot of experimentation with our reggae music and the whole energy of reggae, mm -hmm. and um, a company that really is ripe for takeoff in terms of what we have to share with the world. Tell me, why dancing? Why you choose dancing? That's quite an interesting question. I didn't choose dancing. Yeah. I, you know, people say dancing chose me. It's yeah. really the truth. Um, but I think I should give credence to Uncle Patrick, who was my first teacher. He saw me in a class and he drew me and said, you should dance. And I pretty much took that up and it's been my life forever. How many hours of work do you put into being a movement company dancer, right? Like on a weekly basis. Interesting. Other companies around the world can say, oh, I dance for 40 hours a week. Mm -hmm. At movements, surprisingly, we dance for about 15 hours per week, but the product that we have to put out, it takes us into homework, it takes us into doing rehearsals in little groups, it takes us into um, being, I mean, homework, as I said, being at home and having to do sit-ups and going over the pieces. So really and truly, it's almost 24 hours, because I mean, I think by now I can do this show in my sleep. <laughs> How long have you been dancing with the company? Uh, as far as I can remember, I've been dancing with Movements Dance Company for approximately 15 years and counting. 15 years and counting? Yes. Okay. And so you are putting a lot of hours, I, I, I'm just guessing. Over 15 years, a lot of hours, of right? Of course, a lot of hours, and you have to be dedicated. Cool. You know? yeah. it's, it's really wonderful to work with movements. Why have you committed to Movements Dance Company? Well, I got my first shot with movements when I left high school. A friend of my mother's knew Mrs. Monica Campbell McFarlane, and that's when it all started for me. And since then, I have mm. been really committed to movements, even while going to school. Okay. Yes. I understand that you have a daughter who is dancing now. What's the name of your daughter? Amanda Good. Oh, Amanda. Okay, nice. So, you traveled from how far to come to come see this? this All the way from tonight. Kingston, Jamaica. We came in yesterday and we leave tomorrow. This is the highlight of our trip to come yeah. and watch movements. She's been Sorry. dancing Sorry. since she's mm -hmm. been about four years old, I think. Four so years old. Better yeah. part of 15 years she's been there. So she's been with yeah. movements now for a number of years. So. True, true. And you support her to the 100 fully? I, I, I consider myself the dance dad. <laughs> so dance I've, dad. Been, I've been with her through thick and thin. Injury and yeah. performances, rehearsals, the works. Yeah man, you don't know. You're watching Straight Buzz New York. And we're at Jamaica right now. Jamaica, what takes Straight Buzz New York from? See? What's your name? My name is General By the way, Wagwan. All right, without a doubt. You ever go to New York? Yes, one time. And it's like, we got some boops and we enter New York. And we were in thick, thick, thick tra traffic. Yeah. And I just come out of the car and I said, oh my God. Yeah. Fall in love, same time. Me just, mm -hmm. my heart, my heart go boop for New York. Anyway. For real? Like what? What you love? So what you see? It's like the people, the buzzing, yeah. everything, and the street food. Big up yourself. I don't know who you be, but the hot dogs, they nice, ah, nice, they nice, they nice. They nice. They New York. And yeah, when we went under the bridge, yeah, and the water the tunnel, was... The tunnel. Yeah, the tunnel, yeah, the tunnel and the water flowing over, yeah. most exciting thing ever. Uh, New York, big up yourself, big up to my family. Yeah. Hamilton, Auntie Dimple, I love you. Yeah. Oh, Uncle Dave, everybody, Aunt yeah. Girlie, hi. Yeah, hear it right us up on the street, but seeing Jamaica style, boom.
Jamaica is a nice place to live. Mm. We have everything, the sunshine, the rivers, and the good Ray and Nevio rum to drink here. Ah, right, it's a nice place to live. We yes, now leave here going on the icebox. No disrespect to America, ah. but the sunshine here, we respect it and love it. The people here is nice, yeah. and I am, I am introducing foreigners, whether England, America, Canada, anywhere in Europe, to come to Jamaica to spend them vacation here. Because we have, we have the rivers, the sunshine, the mountain, and the good white rare navy rum. I get the opportunity already, and I refuse it. Yeah. You understand me? And it come back again when Obama the inside. Me they say, boy, me want to come there. But yeah. from Obama, go past the law, yeah. same sex marriage. Be done with America. You know, you know, no, with, no, with nothing. Yeah. Nothing in America. Wa. A man can marry to a man. Yeah. And say I got that. And a woman can there with a woman and say I got that. See. You understand me I mean? They bring a man and a woman to bring forth a child. So yeah. all them fornication and nastiness thing they, they might go on with. So you see, that's not right. So definitely love them laws, some laws where they pass and New no. York. And see. furthermore, them thing there. It come like say them thing they wash down all in a Jamaica yeah, car. Yeah. My beautiful island yeah, they bad against them thing there. Yeah. And right now it come like say boy, you can hardly find a handful of man where against them thing there. Because the right now, moon moon mind of them gay boy they are gear gear look for me. Them just vanish away because me hate them more than poison. You understand me? So it's a Jamaica, all over the America, anywhere in the world. Yeah. No care what happen. Come see for yourself. Yeah. No make nobody tell you. Because we are good and we are bad. Right. Anywhere in the world. And That's one right. thing I can tell you is the Creator said left ten commandments. And not even at the church they might preach it. Yeah. The word is L O V E. Love. If it, everybody yeah. there preach love. Ching Wang Dong at Taiwan would not be no nuclear power, America wouldn't be no nuclear power, everybody would have one nuclear love. Yes. And that's me have to say. If I get a chance to go away, I promise someone to say I come back, you know. I tell the man say yes. Me so come back, man. No, 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 no. If me go up your life is there and better than here, I won't be here. You understand? I will come back and visit yes, because you are not going to throw a stone behind me. You understand? I say, well, we lock our back drum here because I don't want somebody. No, because I, I, we have family here seeing me, so I have good friends. We continue our interview with IT and Fancy Cat, the famous comedy duo of the IT and Fancy Cat show, one of the most popular local programs on Jamaican television. The world small and you can't see me like this now. Yeah, should have the eye cats again. No, no, yeah, no, right. for real. Just the internet with them Skype, yeah. Skype, WhatsApp, chat. WhatsApp call. <laughs> <laughs> Everything changed, man. Yeah. I thought we were going to find our work, so we freeze it in the Aki. Yes. We have yeah. a fish. You can't go find any of Aki, we freeze. You have rum, yeah. you have the fish, you have the wagon. Because we don't find I don't know why, why I'm too now, bun and cheese. We don't know yeah. all of a sudden. Uh. Bring a bun. <laughs> You understand? And then from the exit, we have come back down now. Yeah. You have the Irish Spring soap. Yes. Yes, you can't leave that. <laughs> you have the cornflakes. And the toothpaste. And the yeah. toothpaste. I, would, I would don't want white toothpaste. No. Half the, yeah. the green one. The green, the green, green one. I, 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 red, red, red. I read it. Where is it? 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 A washing brush. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a real thing, At man. a foreign exchange, you know? Yeah, yeah. I was come chat to them, and this are the a original show, thing. It's a link up. It's a, a family. link up, man. You know what I mean? I said, laughter yeah, for years. Camel can do different things. You have a camel yeah. pride. You can turn camel by itself with sugar. Or you can turn camel with some coconut juice and, and with some, some peas and cam turn camel and peas. Yeah, we'll, we eat another ghetto. You know what I say? Yeah, man, I don't know them things. So you see, them, that's why I say, if, if, if you know, say you can't survive after uh, the Aki tree and the tree them about the place, less man I go, go look it and go hustle and thing because the, 
the survival right near yard. Right near yard. Fans got go we are far in Miami ready. Yeah. Peter my child selling my back out. What did I sell you again? Um so what's up leaf. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna say what's up leaf. Four so what's up leaf, you know. Yeah. Yeah. For ten nine to five. Mm -hmm. US. Eh? US. No, yeah. you when me realize that so what's up leaf, but well you tell me why should I buy it? No, sir. When yeah, 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 me have a back of what so what's up tree and my back of my yard. Yeah, in yeah, England them say the papaya leaf. Mm. Them crush it mm. yeah. and send it for five pounds and tell us it's good yeah. for be able to steam in a rice. Trust me. Yeah. Uh, and we have them thing there. We look at the show, man. We're blessed. We stand up on grass. grass. Yes. I don't know what tea you can get all fever grass. grass. <laughs> <laughs> the youth them cheat, you know, what I go on. You know what I mean? So the youth them, the youth them right now, who are watching this right now, I want to say, I love how item fancy are going on, but oh, I start out the thing. I can't give you a joke on them thing there, you know. Oh, oh, them kick it off, especially if you get all the low together, because that's not easy. Yeah, not, not easy. No, uh, the first thing is, see, you have to check your environment. If you have a knock for comedy, you're going to know. Because it means yeah. uh, the environment, you know, whether it's school or work or play or church or anyway, you find, say, uh, you're funny people, you realize that when you talk, people laugh and think at a one step, you know what I mean? Yeah, if every time yeah. you get people laughing laugh on a ball, then please don't look here. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, well, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. That's the first yeah. thing. Then and there's a wealth of information on the internet about comedy. If you Google the word stand up comedy, I will it. But if you're a Jamaican living in the States now and think, trust me, Ellis International come. We are interested in new acts and things. As a matter of fact, we are I, a, a, pro, a project now to develop new acts. So that the time yeah. will be right now if a young, a young yeah, person that. who is interested in things for really. We want, you can't mention Comedy Bus earlier, mm -hmm. we want to create and come up with something else mm -hmm. that will honor new talent and things. So that we can have more comedians. Because my dream is to see a place like the National Stadium with about 30 comedians and the place cock 30,000 people. I laugh. Yeah. Whenever I go on white water, I come down them, I wear tears. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's my Because we have it in a song fest, we have it in a music and thing. Um, we can't have it in a comedy. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me. Tune in each and every Sunday Right here on CIN, in honor of March being Women's History Month, we will highlight female artists. We leave you with Etana's latest video, Burned. See you next week. Simply Kells.